The Killer Volland Stakes is next. Is a seven furlong group three for two year olds. Al Casello at the top for Darren Thompson. Roddy James Shea. Wind at your heels for Derek Hinton. Notebook Joshua Sutherland. Triple Anzio. David Robertson. Akira Tazawa. Matt Cooper. Beware the sea. Darren Thompson. Knockerville Fantasy. Rod McClaw. Zagalini's Junior. Dan Hughes. Ethic Arano. Vinny Gerard. Crisante. Blush James Shea. And Liquid Courage. Matt Cooper. So 12 of them in this. And I can't win this one. I'm break. So. Installed and ready to go, and away they go. And Zagalini's junior, the grey, is to the four. Also, in the green jacket, Ithica Anna, and between them, Crisante Blush. Those are the three that are disputing at the moment. It looks like Zagalini's junior is going to try and get far enough in front to cut across to the fence, and he's managing to do that now quite successfully. And it's clear by five lengths. So, Zagalini's junior then for Dan Hughes is in the lead, Roddy is second. Then comes Akira Tazawa and Al Casillo. Triple Anzio is after that one. Then Notebook with Liquid Courage next. Looking at the back, Wind at Your Heels is just a back marker at this point. So passing the four pole then. And Zagalini's Jr. is well clear of Roddy and Akira Tazawa. Then comes Al Casillo. Liquid Courage is next. A nice rock the inside there for Ithika Anna. Then comes Triple Anzio. Crisante Blush just lost its place a little bit. And on the outside of that one, Noca Villa. Oh, Noca Villa Fancy the Grey is trying to get going. The one on the outside there was Notebook. That's now starting to come through with Crisante Blush as they pass the two. And Al Casillo's hit the front from Zagalini's Junior. Crisante Blush and Notebook. These four are clear at the moment as they race down towards the final furlong. And Zagalini, Al Casillo, following on the inside. There is going to be Crisante Blush. He's just poking his head in front. Notebook's trying to close. Crisante Blush is in the lead. And Crisante Blush looks like he's got a hold on and take it. Crisante Blush is actually pulling away now. Crisante Blush takes it very close for the miners. Roddy and Triple Anzio finish like trains. And may have swamped the other ones that were in there with a shout. Well, Crisante Blush is the clear winner. And Al Casillo did hang on for second. With Triple Anzio third. So Crisante Blush for James Shea, the winner. Al Casillo giving away a big penalty for Darren Thompson was second. Triple Anzio, David Rawson, also heavily penalised, was third. Roddy for James Shea, another penalised horse, was fourth. And Notebook for Joshua Sutherland, penalised again, was fifth. So a lot of horses really who shouldn't have been in that group three, really. You wouldn't get them running that in real life. They should have been in a group one race later in the week.